Hey everybody, welcome to the Carter family holiday video 2020. Um, we're away for a week, we're staying not far from Tenby on the South Wales coast. And like in previous years, I'm recording a video over the week just for the family as remembrances. So it's not really for you guys, but I'll put it up so you can see. But um, yeah, it's more of a, a family memory vlog for us. Um, but I do like to take you with me when we go. I hope you can hear me all right over the background. As you can tell, we're at the beach. The top part is pebbly and the bottom part is sandy. And my kids are in the sea trying to kill each other. So yeah, we're away for a week. We found a nice campsite, um, Trevane Farm it's called. Got our tent set up and I'll show you around the, our little a little patch a bit later on. But yeah, I hope you enjoy watching along with me. black silhouette. Okay, this is Casa del Carter. There's Joss. There's Jim the dog. We haven't really properly organised ourselves yet. It's still early in the morning. There's Max. There's Dave in denial on an inflatable mattress. And this is our super fabulous tripod barbecue thing, which we're going to have um, as our main source of cooking. So tonight we're going to have a barbecue and we've got a big proper sort of cast iron cauldron job. And the nice thing about this grill is that you can raise it and lower it for different cooking temperatures. And there's Comrade playing with fire. And our little cupboard and tranja. And the tea, obviously. Max, is refilling out the Max has gone to get more water. And then this is our fabulous tent, which we actually managed. If anyone watched the Tenby vlog a couple of years back, we hadn't worked out how to make these legs go all the way up. So it's actually, it's full height now, which is quite handy. I can't stand up in it, but then okay. I'm six foot one. No, not quite. Okay, so we've got two bedroom pods. The boys are in there. We should have three, but we forgot to pack the third pod and the ground sheet. So poor old Dave doesn't have a pod. And Jocelyn and I are in there. And I think today, it's just going to be a beach day. But this is our campsite. We're on Trevane Farm. I can't remember if I mentioned that yesterday. And it is a working farm, so at some point I'll take you for a walk through.
that is my family trying to learn how to use a paddleboard. And one of the members at my gym, Luke, and his wife Jade, lent us a couple of their paddleboards, or one of their paddleboards. And I've never had so much fun because my family being in the water sends Jim the dog into a panic and he swims around behind them and tries to herd them back to the beach. So seeing them shriek, fall off a paddleboard into the water and disappear underneath the waves means that poor old Jim is endlessly swimming circles trying to make sure everyone's okay. Can you see his little head in the water? And it turns out that absolutely everybody in my family has very poor balance. August doesn't mean you don't need a DK weight beanie in Wales and I did a bit of filming just now of the lovely cowboy beans that Dave there's Dave look cooked us and then the heavens opened and we all screamed and ran inside the tent except poor old Dave who was soaked through completely and bravely carried on cooking but now it's sunshine and blue sky again so I thought I'd uh, show you what we're having for pudding so Dave's built the fire up and he is desperately trying to dry off because he foolishly only bought one jumper and that is now sodden. It's steaming. Is it steaming? Fire. Is that an improvement? Steaming or on fire. It's, it's lightly it kippered. And there's Max toasting his feet. Yeah. Ow. Jocelyn eating pudding. Comrade, what have we got for pudding? I can't see, it's below the custard. <laughs> We've got McVitie's Jamaica ginger cake and instant custard. It's good for Look at that. My mum used to give me this when I was little and I love it. So we're all going to crowd around the fire and try and warm up a bit. I've, sh I've shaken uh, some of the water off the tent, but it's not quite as waterproof as we'd like. So um, we're going to have to think about what to do about that. We are walking through the woods from our campsite trying to find Saundersfoot which is a smaller, cuter version of Tembi. Because it's time for tea and we're going to go and have a pub dinner. I don't know if we'll be able to walk back this way because it's quite woody and steep. So maybe we'll get a taxi, but we'll have to wait and see. And then there's the little harbour. And we saw lots of people standing around an interesting looking thing. So we've come down to investigate. There's the family and Jim the dog. It's a camera one, Dad. <laughs> well, I couldn't see it. So we decided we will come and find out what it was. Yes, please. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
We think it might be where you can go crabbing. Yes, family crabbing area. Well, that's not quite as exciting as I thought it might be. Okay, so it's half past six in the morning on day three. And it rained in our tent so hard that all our bedding is wet. We are wet. We're going home. Conrad basically went to sleep in the car. Conrad didn't sleep. Look, even the dog's wet. And he slept in the tent and that's how wet the dog is. Um, so we're going home. Yeah, it's going to rain like this all day and literally all of our sleeping bags and pillows are wet. Tomorrow's going to be nice weather, but the next two days are like the apocalypse as well. So, um, yeah, this isn't the end we were anticipating, but at least we get to drive home on uh, 45 minutes sleep. I got Justin hiding in the car. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is the point we're at. I don't know if you can see the rain. You can actually see the rain. So we're just going to sling everything in the car and call it a day. No one else is up. And there's Max in the distance taking the bins out.